these six sportsmen are so famous, only one name needs to be said to instantly recognize them. And as they elevated themselves, it was as if they elevated us and suddenly everything was all right. They are the legends of the game. Fans will always argue who was the greatest footballer ever. And Argentine Diego Maradona will always be a contender. Maradona was born into poverty on the outskirts of Buenos Aires in 1960. Spotted by a talent scout at a mere 10 years of age, Maradona would amuse spectators with his wizardry age 12 at First Division games. It was on the 20th of October 1976 that Diego Maradona made his professional debut with Argentinos Juniors, where he would play for five years before transferring to the Boca Juniors. Following the 1982 World Cup, Maradona was transferred to Barcelona, Spain for a then record five million pounds. A serious leg injury and a bout with hepatitis meant this was a difficult time for Maradona, but already there were hints of an ability to recover from setbacks that would break the will of mortal men. It was when he was transferred to Napoli, though, that Maradona reached the peak of his career. The fans adored him, and Napoli had its most successful era in history. On the international stage, Maradona found his greatest fame. He actually made his international debut aged to 16 in a match against Hungary in 1977 and played in his first World Cup in 1982. But the 1986 World Cup in Mexico was Diego Maradona's finest hour. By every minute of every Argentina game, he asserted his dominance and was the player of the tournament. His second goal in Argentina's quarter-final win over England would be later voted by FIFA as the greatest in the history of the World Cup. Maradona would play in two more World Cups for Argentina, but age and injury would take their toll, and his dominance would never be the same. Diego Maradona has battled many demons during his career, but the biggest of them all was his addiction to cocaine. It apparently began in the early 80s and continued until at least 2004. In retirement, Maradona suffered weight issues and in 2004, he had a heart attack which nearly took his life. There were three false claims about his death and in 2007, Maradona finally declared himself drug free. Despite personal problems and a run-in with the Italian government over unpaid taxes, Diego Maradona can still pull a crown. He has spent time as manager of three different clubs and in 2006 was appointed coach of Argentina's national football team. A compact physique meant he could stand up well to the rigours of football. He was short but strong. And to those who saw him dribbling full speed down the left wing, only to deliver a bullet-like pass to a teammate or a miraculous shot on goal, it was as if your heart would skip a beat as you were overwhelmed with the elation of witnessing a legend of the game. FIFA named him football's ambassador to the world. The Brazilian government called him a national treasure. And if you only know one name in international football, that name is likely to be Pelé. Like Maradona, Pelé grew up in poverty. And legend tells us 
He was so poor that he actually learnt to play with a sock that was stuffed with newspaper and tied with string. Pelé made his debut for Santos on the 7th of September 1962 and by the age of 16 was the top scorer in the league. By 1962, many wealthy European clubs were hovering, but whether the Brazilian government prevented it or Pelé resisted the law, he remained at Santos for 17 years before transferring in 1972 to the United States, where he played for the New York Cosmos and in turn did more to elevate the sport than any other player. Even though Pelé's first match internationally for Brazil was a defeat, it was a great milestone, as he became the youngest player to score at international level. Pelé was not yet 17. At the 1958 World Cup, he was again the youngest to play in a World Cup final and scored two goals as Brazil beat Sweden 5-2 cup competition was held in 1871-1872 and had 15 entries. This season more than 700 took part. 